time to get into the Lord's Care Ministry, A Light Shining from Above, Day 258 of the year 2008. Open your Bibles, brethren, and we will turn over to chapter 51 of Isaiah and verse 12. If you'd like to write these down, so that you can study the whole context here on YouTube. If I would do all of that, well, we would not have time. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 12. I, even I, he that is comforting you. Now over in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who is comforting us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Psalms chapter 103 verses 3 and 14, please. Like as a father pitteth his sons, so the Lord pitteth them that fear him. For he is knowing our frame, and he remembers that we are dust. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 13. As one whom his mother is comforting, so I comfort you. Now turn over and we will read. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he is caring for you. Psalms chapter 86 and verse 15. Thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious longsuffering, and plenty thus in mercy and truth. John chapter 14 and verse 16 and 17 please. Another comforter, even the spirit of truth. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. The spirit is helping our infirmities. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4 please and we read. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Temptations of the believer. Temptations to envy the wicked. Psalms chapter 50, er, 73 verses 2 to 3. As for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. The feet are in a slippery place, their riches swift as shadows fly, their honors and in deep disgrace. In mirth they live. In anguish die. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Comfort, comfort you, my people. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Brethren, are you in full comfort? Are you following Christ every footstep? You know, Christ himself says, follow me. Not follow the tradition of men. Not take the broad path. But there is just a narrow path that leads to salvation. Believe it, brother. You're own God, your own Father, Almighty Father, 
And Jesus Christ says this, if you love me, keep my commandments. Well, brethren, with this, we will close for today. And I do suggest that you go and read over Ex Exodus 20 again and see just how many of them you are following. And when it comes to the fourth commandment, go to Genesis chapter 2 and verse 2, for these are the words of the Lord. And the seventh day is the one that he rested. The only day he sanctified and made holy. No other day has he done this. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.